What's up guys, Champ here, back with some Black Ops 3 gameplay. The Infinite Warfare beta is over, so I'm back on some Black Ops 3. I gave you guys a couple of Infinite Warfare gameplays. I was only able to get a little bit of footage. I still got a couple of really good games I'm going to show you from there. But I had to switch it up because this is where we all started at the Black Ops 3. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys still want to see some nuclear. So I'm going to show you guys another nuclear here on the map, Nuketown. In this game, we're going to be playing a little hard point. I'm running the Weevil, and I'm running this setup that I've been loving lately. This has been my Rush Heavy class setup with the Weevil. I've just been using this gun so much lately. I love the fact that I can shoot at all ranges with this gun. I love the fact that it has 70 bullets in the clip. Like, both those things together just make this gun so good to me. I know a lot of people say it's underpowered, and it is a little bit. It doesn't kill as quick as the other guns, but it makes up for that with the f ability to shoot at all ranges. Look how I'm just mapping these guys. I mean, I'm going, just melting them across the map right there at the blue car from the window. Going to use the Rogue Blackjack Specialist in this. I'm going to get a couple of Tempest kills. I'm going to get a couple of other kills, and I'm going to go on a nice gun streak in this game. I'm going to get the nuclear, and I'm going to get a bunch of unstoppables afterwards. It's a really good gameplay. I end up running out of bullets in my Weevil setup because what I run on it is the quick draw, the stock, run extended mags, and I run grip. So that's four attachments. So I don't have any room for scavenger. So I do run out of bullets eventually in this gun, but it takes a while. I mean, 70 in the clip, 210 to back up. That's a lot of bullets. I mean, you get to you get to about a 20 gun streak almost with that. If this was domination, I probably wouldn't even have to worry about it because the half would just switch. So I'm going to take a death right there, and that's going to be my last death of the game. I'm going to go on a nuclear, and I'm going to just continuously destroy this enemy team with wraiths, wraps, and hater nonstop for the rest of this game. So when I run out of bullets in this game, I end up having to pick up a VMP. The VMP, after switching from the Cuda, or not the Cuda, the Weevil to the VMP, ends up feeling a lot bouncier. So I miss a lot of shots when I first make that switch. I'm able to adjust, and then I start hitting all my shots with the VMP. And that's when I pick up a lot of gun kills, actually, is with the VMP after I have to switch from this Weevil. But as you can see right now, i still got plenty of bullets. I'm going to come up in this window for a little bit. Just because they got counter UAV on, I don't really know where anyone's at. I'm on a little bit of a streak, so I want to get my score streaks. Once you get your score streaks, then it's on. You know what I mean? You can start throwing those haters up. As long as you can get the counter UV out of the sky, then you're just going to start destroying the team. You're going to know exactly where they are. And with the Wraith and the Raps in the air, they're going to pull out the rocket launchers. They're just going to be running around all frantic with this like random class setup so they can put on blind eye and cold blooded so they don't get killed by your score streaks. Either way, it's a bonus. You switch your class, I'm going to get you because you're going to have a terrible gun on and no attachments on it, or you don't switch your class, the streaks are going to destroy you, and I got the hater. So this is definitely the best score streak, the way to set up your score streaks in the game. There's no better setup than these three streaks right here. I wish Infinite Warfare had streaks even close to as good as these, but they really don't. Their score streaks, the highest ones in the game, get you about three, four kills, which is awful. I mean, it takes a lot of killing to get those, and you get no reward for all those kills. I was actually really happy when I got back on Black Ops 3 and put up my first Wraith and Raps back on the screen and they just destroyed the enemy team. It was a good feeling to have streaks that actually were worth it and did something for you again. And to be able to have the hater, the game's going to be really easy once you get to start throwing that advanced UAV up. Because I was able to get a deatomizer strike already, not even really knowing the maps. I already pulled the deatomizer strike. Once I could throw the U advanced UAV on instead, which I'm hoping is just like a hater... Then I'm going to be able to really destroy the enemy. Really be able to put up a lot of the atomizer strikes. Probably a double. I think I'll be able to get a double in this game. I mean, I already got it within five hours of playing the game. I think I could definitely pull off a double eventually by the end of it. We'll see. It's probably around Christmas time, too. Last couple years, I've been going on vacation around Christmas time. But I'm going to stick around this year because that's when you get all the best gameplays. That's when all the new players come out, and that's when you already know the map. So I definitely have to make sure I'm around this year for Christmas time so I can get some of those Christmas noobs, just destroy them, get some really good gameplay so we can put them up here on YouTube. So I made the switch here. I picked up this VMP. It was really convenient, actually. It was right on the ground right when I ran out of bullets, which is helpful because that's one way you could definitely lose your nuclear streak is to run out of bullets and not have a gun or a decent gun nearby. Got some more Tempest here. I'm going to go off with this Tempest again on these guys. I'm liking the Tempest. I do pretty well with the Tempest. As long as you're accurate with the Tempest, you're good. You start missing shots, you're going to get in trouble. Right there, I just shot the guy right through the garage. Finally, a little payback for all the shots I've been getting through the garage there. 
I still didn't show you guys the brutal that I went on. It was like a 29 gun streak where I get wall banged through that garage with a sniper, of course. It's absolutely horrendous the way I got taken off that streak. I was so pissed off. But I'm going to show you guys that eventually. And I got a nice little brutal gameplay where I go brutal and I get over 100 kills. Lots of action in that game. I take very few deaths in that game. Clutch up the 100 kill game. Couldn't clutch up the nuclear, but it was still a fantastic game. I want to show you guys that one. I've been using a lot of this rogue blackjack lately because I got all those crypto keys. I got over 9,500 crypto keys, so why not use the rogue blackjack? There's only a couple weeks left of this game. What else am I going to do with those crypto keys? I don't really want that disc gun. I got the nail gun. I got you guys a couple gameplays that just wanted that posted. And I don't really want to play with it anymore because the way I feel about that gun, it's like you're playing with lag. So it's so frustrating because everything just lags a little far behind. So that's what I that's how I could describe that gun. It's like playing with the worst connection in the world. And you just have to time it like that. You have to shoot a little bit ahead of the person. But when you're so used to shooting a certain way, that really throws you off. And it's really frustrating too, because I hate losing gunfights when I'm straight up with people and I feel like I should have won it. So I can't use that gun anymore, so I'm not going to really use that too much. Just picked up the Brutal Metal right there, so I'm on a 25 gun streak. Got myself some gravity spikes in the back pocket just in case. I'm pretty sure they're spawning around me because no teammates were really near me on the minimap. And there it is, the UAV. You see them all spawning around me. So that's the 26 kill right there. Here comes 27. That was a nice little move. I should have had him, but he glitched out on me, 28. And boom, I tried to hit him with the gravity spike, but he was out of range. Thankfully, the teammates were on him right there. That was very fortunate because he could have easily shot me in the back as I was trying to retreat if my teammates weren't there. So I'm on about a 27 right now. I just need to get three more kills. And you're going to notice these next three kills, I think, are shaky. Like that one, I jumped out in the open. He could have took me off, but he didn't. I looked over there, and now he just spawned, turned on. 29 kills right there. Let me gain some health, put my wraith in the air. That guy definitely could have got me because I checked that area and then I missed, you know, he just wasn't there. And then he popped out right afterwards. That would have been heartbreaking. To die on 28s and 29s stinks. Here comes my nuclear. I hit marker this guy like a billion times. Finally get my nuke right there. The good part is I hater pops up too. So that's why I'm able to continue my streak right here with this VMP. Get a couple more jump shots. Every time when I get a nuke, I just start rushing like incredibly fast usually. Because I'm just happy, you know what I mean? You got your nuke. You don't really need to hold on to your gun streak anymore. It's nice to get a really long gun streak. But I'm just like, you just get excited. You want to just go and get as many kills as quick as possible afterwards. Because you're playing so careful and all tensed up. And everything. all of a sudden it just like all loosens up. All the stress is relieved. And now you feel like the man. And you just start running around the map. Flying everywhere and killing everybody. But that's usually what ends up ending my streak. Is I start to feel too much like the man. I get a little ahead of myself and I end up getting taken off. Right there, I'm getting a lot of points too. So if I was able to get this kill right here instead of dying, I definitely would have been able to get more streaks and probably would have been able to continue my gun streak to like a 40 or 50. I think I ended up with a 35 gun streak right there. I'll show you the medals at the end of this game. I'm pretty sure I got five unstoppables. Nasty little game here. I don't have many deaths. I ended up finishing this game. I think it's almost near 80 kills. We'll see in a second. I finished this game with a lot of kills. I got this game played before the beta came out. That's why I can't really remember right now. Because the beta came out and then I just went straight to Infinite Warfare and just sat in the lobby for a bunch of hours waiting to try to play a game pretty much. But I didn't go back to any of my old, you know, Black Ops 3 gameplays because it was all about Infinite Warfare. Well, it could be just for that one short weekend that we got. So now we're back to Black Ops 3, and I'm going to go back and show you all these nuclears that I had saved up. Mr. Cod's got a couple of nuclears. I got some nuclears. I got like five to 800 plus gameplays that are all really action-packed here on the map Nuketown that I still got to show you guys. Some like 120 kill gameplay I think I got. And just some really nasty high KD 100 plus kill gameplay. So you know that you're rushing when you get 100 kills in this game. Yeah, the streaks have to do a lot of work for you too to get 100 plus. But you have to be rushing. I mean, you have to get at least 50 gun kills, I'd say, to get 100 plus in this game. And then hopefully your streaks can get you the other 50, which is crazy. Probably more like 60 or 70 with the gun, to be honest. It's good. 
expect your streaks to get 50 kills is a lot. You have to get a lot of streaks for that to be the case, like maybe like four sets of wraps, four sets of wraith. There you guys have it, 79 kills, eight deaths, nuclear gameplay, five unstoppables. I'm gonna show you guys the medals here at the end. I hope you guys like what you saw. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna see more from me, subscribe to me at champ gaming I'll be going into infinite warfare soon we're gonna be going into modern warfare 4 remastered and we're just gonna be playing those games non-stop giving you the best gameplays that we can get for you guys gonna be lots of action coming up in the next month here on the channel plus i'm gonna be just showcasing all the best games that i have stored up so look for that on the channel coming up real soon and i might do another supply drop video this has been champ at champ gaming come see me